In this episode in the Transport Fever 2 Brutal series, the Riggy returns with a special cargo on board. The gang have built a wall around the town and are using the citizens of the town to mine the stone for them. And we acquire new recruits for our military as well as transporting our weapons from the nearby weapons factory. Hello everybody, my name's Hoshi and welcome back to Brutal Mode. Let's get started today with where we left off last episode. We went over to the military base and we transported some stone from the nearby quarry. Now, I actually got a comment from a user named Silver Russo, I believe it's pronounced, that says, please could you bring back the steam trams? And I think that is a very good idea because if we look at our trams here on this route, they are not particularly fast. You can see they're going 24 with no problems. However, as soon as they get to this little hump in the road, they have some serious, serious issues. And you can see here, it really starts to struggle going over small hills like this at only two kilometers an hour. So very slow. So I think mechanizing this form of transport is really, really gonna help and might even be cheaper. So let's first of all, go ahead and do that. Manage vehicle and we're gonna just, let's take, actually let's take one of these off because, um, in fact, you know what? It, there's three vehicles and they hold 10 each at the minute. I've just sold one. So if we sell two of these, then we can replace one with a steam tram because the steam tram has three times capacity. So if we go here to replace, you can see, if we look at the difference between these two, this one only holds 10 uh, and this one holds 36. So this can almost do the equivalent of four of the trams. And I'm sure, it, like you can see, it does cost quite a bit more money, but you know what? I think the investment might be worth it. Let's do it, replace. So here it is, our beautiful new steam tram. We did have these quite a while ago in the town, I think transporting wood, but we sold them because um, they weren't the best. I think they were causing like too much emissions or they weren't making enough money. Uh, but I think it is a good idea in context of this line. I think it should do pretty well. Time will tell. However, in the previous video, I asked you guys, what do you want to call the military base? The top rated comment will get to name it. And the name of the base with the most amount of likes is by a user named Apple who says Fort McDonald. So Apple, this military base is now Fort McDonald. Now, an issue we had in the previous video is we didn't have that many recruits. And if we click on the trams here, I'm sure we can see there's actually on that one's a bit of a uh, a bit of an anomaly in this tram. There's 10 people, but on most of the other trams, there's not that many people on board. You can see there's only like five and four people on some of these trams. There's not that many people. So what I think we should do is completely scrap the tram network. I really did love this idea. I really did. Don't get me wrong. It's a brilliant, brilliant idea. However, I think there's a better alternative because we unlocked something in the previous episode I did not notice and it is a good one. It is it's a pretty good one. You can see these guys hold 11. However, um, if we go to a road depot, have we got one nearby? We do. So road depot, look at this, double decker omnibus. Yeah, and these things go pretty quickly considering how much capacity they have. So I think we're going to do that. Let's start straight away and we're going to rip this tram track up. I know we only just did this, so it might be a little bit annoying, but let's just pause and we'll rip this up because let's be honest, it's not the best. We can actually sell a few of these. Let's just, um, oops, let's just sell that one because it's on the road. It's going to get in the way. Uh, so let's go to road and then tools and then tram track. So we'll just rip all of this tram track up. We do not need this tram track. So we shall be selling all of that. Actually, I need that one so I can sell our trams. So I'm going to get all these guys and sell them. So select all. And then we're going to take these guys back to the depot and we're going to we're going to sell them. So there we go. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. And I'm going to rip this tram track up and then we will get omnibuses going. Okay, so all the tram track is now gone from this side. And I also just put this little corner in here just so it's not quite as harsh on the trams. Let's get our omnibuses. So it looks like we got, yeah, this one here. So we'll get that, buy vehicles, and then let's go with, I think we had five trams on the line and they hold 10. So we had 50 capacity and they were running like half. So if we get uh, then two of those and then, so let's get like two, yeah, two of these and then pop that back onto there. All right, let's have a look at these ones. Here they come. Ooh, they look nice. Look at those bad boys. Brilliant. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good investment. Okay, cool. We actually have an error up here. What's this error? Lalby Railway. What's going on with Lalby? Could not connect to all stations. Let's find out what's going on here. So, we can't connect to Mount Victory, is it? Yeah, we can't go. So, what's going on with this track here? Where's the problem? Oh, 
What's this? Well, ah, I see. I think the gank has, has blown the bridge up. All right, and what about what about the other side? Yeah, they are really yeah they've done it here as well. So they're really cracking down on like like owning the island. They really want this island. You can tell they are actually oh wow. So they have built a huge wall around the city because they want control of this. Actually, it's not finished yet. There is a little gap here. Okay, that's a good that's a good thing to know. Um, let's have a look at our train station. So they've actually used the train station as like part of the wall. Um, oh look, they've blocked the door up as well. Wow, okay. So, that's a... Mm, okay, alright, alright, we can work with it. Uh, so. So, so, so. I need to attack before they start ripping the lines up. Because, eventually, I believe they are going to rip this track up. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it, it, if, they, if they just blew this up here, I'm not thinking they want to keep the track here. Because I think they could use the steel elsewhere. Our valuable steel we paid a lot of money for. So it looks like this is the main access point for them, and especially because this is going to where the, the mine is, where they're getting the stone to build the wall. So I think we need to know that in mind not to come here, because this is looking pretty heavily guarded. Um, so we should probably not go there, especially because right here is like the hub where everyone is. Uh, so yeah, probably not the best idea in the world. Uh, but we can do something. I'm sure we can do something. Let's sort this line out first because it is annoying me how there's errors It's probably the best if we just cut this whole area off. So if we go to four rip that off uh, and then four Rip that off and then over here. We're going to four five and six. We can just rip those off as well boom Boom and boom and then that one as well because that was a duplicate. Okay, that should have solved the problem. And the one thing I want to do here, I know this underground station is costing me a bucket load in maintenance and we're not even using it. So why don't we do the thing of just deleting it? That might be a, a pro gamer move. Uh, let's get rid of that and let's get rid of all the track that's connecting it just because this is costing me so much in maintenance and money is so valuable in war. It is such a good resource to have because that means we can actually like employ the amount of soldiers we need, we can get the weapons we need, and importantly, we need to make a network to transport our weapons over to the military base, and that's the wrong button. I just deleted someone's house, I'm so very sorry. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, there we go, uh, we got all this, and I think, to be honest, it was probably a good call anyway. It wasn't making particularly much money, like, there was not a lot of point that being there, I just built it because it was cool. Uh, and also, it's really prone to flooding. Look at that. It's so prone to flooding. Uh, so I probably dodged a bullet there, to be honest with you. We get rid of all this track here. And we'll dig it all back up. And then we can just abandon the the non uh, the non underground bit. So we go back to rails. And we can just abandon the rest of this, I think. A little bit expensive to abandon stuff. But it is what it is. I'm actually going to... Shall I tear this bridge down as well? That's a good, that's a good thought, actually. Uh, you know what? In a normal circumstance, like if I was just gonna go and kill these guys and raid them I would destroy the bridge because the bridge is costing me a lot of money however I am NOT a quitter I plan on taking this back over I will take this back over even we can do this team is what I'm saying I'm gonna keep the infrastructure there because we are gonna want to use this infrastructure again at some point I would have thought another thing is that troops would it be nice to transport our troops using, if we somehow manage to re uh, recapture this bridge, uh, we could send our troops and our weapons along the railway line is what I'm thinking. Because otherwise we're going to have to build, because we, we, I suppose we could make them walk down here, but it might be nice to just get like a train to, to take them. Um, and, uh, oh, okay, looks like the Riggy's back. Okay, alright, let's go check it out. Oh, here, okay, here's the Riggy. Oh, hello there, Riggy. What have you brought back? You've brought back a train. Well, okay, where have you been, Reggie? That, that's sounding pretty good. Um, is this a good thing or a bad thing? So on the one hand, my team probably should have consulted me before buying things. I can understand the situation. It was like a spur of the moment thing. But on the other hand, that is really good. Considering we've been wanting to have, uh, to have boats for quite a long time. We don't have that many boats. You can see we only have three on the line, but these new, like this one here, T-Clipper. We've got passenger clipper. So these are the blueprints. We have the, we have blueprints for these boats. We can build these. We just have to make the industry for them first so we can construct them. This is brilliant. 
Okay. Yeah, you can see we only have these three ships in the, in use at the minute. So that's really good. Excellent. We need to get to work to that straight away uh, after we've solved the military issue, which is weapons. Uh, I've actually been thinking about this. The best way, I think, is got to be trained. There's no other way of doing it, I don't think. It's such a long distance to go from over here uh, all the way over to... Where are we here? Over to the military base over here. I don't think a horse and cart would really work. Um, so trains probably the best uh, probably the best option for that uh, and actually have a track already pre-established it is a bit of a long route it's not the best route ever but it is it is there at least the infrastructure is down I'm thinking if we go down here bring it along here a couple of signals there we're chucking uh, can we put a because you can put a flip switch can't you if I put that there so we could go like that onto this track then that's handy having that there um, and then we bring this down here all the way, all the way down, and um, we might as well just follow the track the uh, the iron train is going. Actually, like, come to think of it, it's probably the best thing to do. Or we could use a passenger line, and we could just bring a, a track off here onto this one. That would also work. Can't really double it because we don't have the money for another tunnel. Can't really do that. I think that's a good move though. Uh, looks like we have some. Okay, so we have some trucks backing up here. This is a simple solution. We're just gonna select. Let's say we got 15. Let's just go for. Uh, let's go for seven of these and we'll sell them just halve it because if you look at the amount of vehicles just sitting there it, it was not really working I think like this amount is is much better to be honest with you uh, we'll see how that goes anyway uh, but these guys are bringing the tools I believe back oh no they're dropping off so they're just dropping the stuff and going back empty fine fine by me Okay, so we're just about to build a station for our new locomotive to transport our weapons, but it wouldn't be episode 19 if we didn't go forward one year, so let's go to 1869. Okay, and anything new? We got just retunes. Okay, not too bad. I mean, we might as well have a look at these retunes, but I don't think there's anything particularly interesting there. It's always like handy to have a look, so we might as well. Um, so Westampton and then buy vehicles. Oh look, our trains arrived. Nice. Okay, uh, let's have a look then. So we've got the one on here. We got the derated, and I believe we're using uprated, aren't we? So there's not a lot of difference really between the two. I think the other ones, yeah. They, so this one has better acceleration, uh, and I think the other one has better pulling power that we use but that's fine because we don't need acceleration particularly we just need because it's up a hill I think that one's better anyway so we don't really need to touch that I think we also got this one as well uh, 38 and 145 and we use the stealthy I think um, so 45 oh, yes yeah, so it's the same thing really um, uh, this one has a bit more acceleration so maybe but it's not really very fast so there's not a lot of point in using that to be honest with you but uh, yeah, it's nice. Our train, you can see it here, it's just arrived. Sitting in our maintenance, looking quite nice. All right, we'll come back to this train in just a sec. Um, but we need to set our line up first, don't we? Okay, so we're back where we want to be. Let's go to our train stations and we'll get a, I think we'll go with an 80 meter and we'll just build upon that. So what is the furthest we can go on this side without having too much of a problem here? So I can't go any further than that. Okay, I can work with that. We'll put that down like that and then we're going to go to configure. We'll go to platforms and then we're going to get a passenger. No, we're not. We're going to get a cargo platform. And we don't have enough money for that. Okay, I'm going to wait until we get a bit more money and then I'll come back. Okay, the money has gone up just a little bit now. So I'm going to plonk as many of these down as I can. I can't fit any more. A little bit annoying. So this platform is not particularly long. But I think it will work for the most part. I'm not quite sure how much weapons we are actually producing. But all will be revealed, I'm sure. We need to get a 50 mile an hour track and put that there as well, just to make sure it's the right length. And then now we can actually get to the whole building of the track. Don't really need 50 for this because it is slightly more expensive. But I am just going to go with 50 because in the future, of course, we are going to have more powerful locomotives. Now, are we going to go with a railway crossing, a tunnel or a bridge here? How is a bridge going to look, I wonder? Let's see. Uh, can we go up a bit? Right, how's that looking? So... I'm not in, not in a bridge just yet. How about how about if I pull it back a bit? Um, okay, what about a bit higher then? Oh, there we go. Okay, so nice and flat. That's a, that's a bridge. But I've actually pressed M a couple of times there. So let's just see. If I go perfectly flat, that is not too bad actually. And if I go then, like... Because I've got to go that way is the issue. So what about if I go to like 
Oh, wow, this is tricky. So if I go to, I think I'm going to have to build like that and then delete a little bit. So just put that there and then just bin that and then go back here and then go like that. Yeah, that's a better way of doing it, I think. And we'll just make that one flat again. In fact, you don't need to, we don't need to do that. We can just bring this down, can't we? So can I bring it down to, I don't want things, I don't want to have too much bridge because bridge is always a hassle to work with. Um, is there a better option? I wonder. Let's see. I do like that, actually. I really like that color. I think I'm going to change that color. Uh, we don't have any money again. Money's a little bit of an issue, if you haven't already noticed. Uh, and I did also notice there's a little bit of an issue we're having in terms of vehicles being delayed. I looked in West Hampton briefly, and it seems there's a lot of vehicles just sitting around waiting. So once I fix this train line up, I think we should definitely go check that out. It's going to be a big spender this year, but hopefully it's worth it. Ah, that's an issue. Are we going to... Okay, we can't reverse in that train, I've just realised. That's a, quite an issue, to be honest with you. It means I've got to turn the train around, because it can't reverse. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, I didn't I didn't think this through, clearly. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so I'll rip that road up there, and I could supposedly... I could bring it around here. I, I could do that, I suppose. We can worry about that later, I suppose, because we've got to get the track done first, before anything. What if we just plug this straight into here? Is that going to, like, work for us, I wonder? Uh, it wants to do a tunnel. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest with you. I don't have the money. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame there. It's just so expensive for all this stuff, to be honest with you. Like, let's have a look at the terrain. So, go to terrain tool. Where are we? Terrain. Right, we need to follow these contours. So, it looks like the best option would be to go down here and then up there. Probably. That's what it's looking like. So like there, yeah. I think that's probably the best move. And then we just connect it down here somehow. Right, we'll go for that then. Okay, not ideal, but it will do. So we'll take it. We'll take our wins when we can get them. So we need to bring this down to about there. And then this goes, whoa, and this goes to about, to about there. And then we'll bring this one round like that. There we go. And then now this guy can go along here. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, that's looking good. Now this guy needs to go into this track here. So how are we going to do the switches for this, I wonder? Because the train can't stop there because there's a switch here now. So I've got to... I can't go in the tunnel either because that's too expensive. So what if I did the switch... Uh, so hang on, the trains are going that way and that way. So signal there. Signal there. Okay. Um, now, he's got to go up there as well. So actually, yeah, if we, if we just push it back a little bit, that does work. And we'll bring the track down into about, let's say there. Not a big fan of them stopping in tunnels, but I don't have a lot of choice in this situation. There's not a lot of room to work with. I suppose I could if I really tried. Let's just give it a try. Uh, if we go back to track here, and then we just try and fit that track uh, so bring it a little bit further that way then, alright. And what if we try to put that into into there? Yeah, it's not the best corner ever, but I think we can work with it. I think it's better than the, the other option, which is go stop him in the tunnel. Okay, we'll put that there, and we're going to stop that guy there. Now, is this going to cause issues, I wonder? Because if we have two trains using the same track, how, how are they going to differentiate between... Because it was just two on like on here before. This is, these are the only two we had to worry about. Now there's four. Because we've got things coming this way as well. Um, hmm. Yikes. All right. Let's assume that there's a train. Okay. Let's put a signal down like that. All right. Let's assume a train's coming this way. Okay. And the other train wants to go that way. So it's going to stop here. Or is it going to go forward? Unless there's one waiting for this one. And then this train's going to go to there. Uh, but it wants to go that way, but there's nothing up there because it's a one-way track. Yeah, that's fine. So that should work just fine. I don't see there's like a problem with that. Uh, so that's good. And then we need to go ahead and do the end of the track here. Uh, let's bin this then. And we can work around with it. So tracks 50 and then we'll just bring that to... Can we go flat? Um, I kind of want to keep it cheap. Um, so probably not the best move to do that, <laughs> really. Uh, what about if I bring it... Oh, but the thing is, if I don't go flat, it's going to struggle to get up this hill because it's got full load. So what can I do? Not the best and nicest looking track ever, but I think it does serve a good purpose because otherwise we wouldn't be able to turn around, I suppose. Um, so what I need to do now is to get a waypoint 
so one of those, and we're going to go on the right side, because I always, I always forget, because I live in a country where we don't drive on this side, I always put it on the wrong side, but I've remembered this time, um, and we're going to put a signal there as well. Cool, so now we have that set up, we shouldn't have to worry about this, the only issue I have is, of course, m like, the maintenance, this is going to cost a lot to maintain. So, really not ideal. I would love to see another alternative. And let me know in the comments, guys, if you can see a better alternative to turning the train around here. Uh, just let me know in the comments, because I really, really would love if you could point something out. Because there is a real issue here in terms of money. Um, this is going to cost a hell of a lot. Uh, and who knows, maybe your comment will be featured in the next video. Ah, uh, no, how is this going to work? I've got to go from this road... And I've got to bring it across. Ah, oh, there we go. That's fine. Bring it to that. And then we'll put a curve on here. So grab that. Bring it around there a bit. Now, can we fit under this bridge without having issues? I don't think... Oh, never mind. I was proven wrong. Okay. And that makes my life very simple. Excellent. I just got to plug that in until we get enough money. Come on, game. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty good, all in all. Uh, let's just make sure everything is back where it should be. Uh, now we can go to do the next bit of track. So our train is going to come through here, it's going to go down here, and it's going to go onto this track over here. So this is showing a track with the freight line. It is actually not going to go that way though, it's going to go this way along this track. So that means we're going to need a signal that goes down there and there. Now that's done, we need to worry about crossover. So you're going to go down, you're going down there onto that track. Okay, and then you're going to go down here. So if there's one coming this way, I see, right, that, that, that's fine. We need to upgrade this track back to 50 miles an hour, not abandoned, because that would be extremely bad, I'm sure. Which track is this? I've not, I've got it 60, 70. I don't know which, which track this is on. 20! No, thank you. That's very slow. We'll go back to 50, thank you very much. Uh, there's no train going that way yet, although I do plan to do that. But we don't see about that just yet, I don't think. I'll put a signal there just like... No, I won't. It costs money to maintain. Uh, let's go instead. So we're going across there. Anything coming down here at all? Uh, I don't think there is. No. No, there's nothing going down there. So we don't have to worry about that track too much. There's two trains going along. Hello, you two. Um, but yeah, going up here next. I think this is all sorted. I don't think we need to worry about this bit. Uh, it's a very long way to go for a train, but oh well. We're bringing this guy down here. Now we need to go down this path. That's fine. We're going all the way down here to this signal. Onto the main line. And then we're going to go back to the military base. So, military base. We need a station. So, buildings. We're going to go with a... We need a passenger and a cargo station here. So, a little bit of a challenge for me. And I'm going to put it down near-ish the road, but not too near. So, we'll go like that. We'll put that on just like that. And now we need to connect this track up to this track. So can I simply just do a massive corner? Uh, you're going 40. So there's not actually a lot of point in me making this track 50 mile an hour. The top speed is only 40 with this angle anyway. So if I just pop it down to 40. We're not actually, we're just saving like a little bit of money there and not actually losing anything ish. We're losing maybe two mile an hour. So I'm not particularly bothered. Uh, money, still an issue. Um, you know what? Let's sort that out now. We'll come back to this in a minute, but money is becoming a problem. Let's sort that right now. So I'm going to look through these charts. I'm going to see which ones are losing us money, uh, and then we can make some decisions. Fancy gap to cross at a bus. There is currently five stagecoaches on the line, but hardly any of them have anyone on. So if I go to this line here, and then I can just manage, and we can just go ahead and cut, like, all of those guys. I don't think we need any more than two to be honest with you. And then I think I should save us a bit of money in the long run. I'm looking here as well at the West Shuttle. This is doing pretty well, honestly. If you click on this, um, there is like, there is, oh wow. So there's quite a, there's quite a queue over here at this bus stop. Um, to be honest with you, I've been looking at this and I would like to remodel this whole area. I like the station. I like it. But the whole like setup for this is just not working. You can see there's massive queues here. Um, the train station is kind of in a weird spot as well. I would sort of like to move it down a bit so it's centralized because it feels a bit weird having to enter on one side and then walk to the other end of the platform. I don't know, it just feels a bit weird. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll do that in maybe the next episode or an episode coming. We'll definitely be looking probably at the whole of West Hampton and just remodeling it because there's so much stuff I would just love to do in West Hampton. The only issue I'm having is there's no money to do it. Uh, it's just finding where the money comes from. Which brings me back to what I came here to do. 
we need to look at our roots. Um, so yeah, uh, we got here some to West Bus. How are you doing? So I could probably halve these as well because there's only like half the people, half the capacity is full. And I mean, the idea of this game is not really to run everything on full capacity all the time. You, you want to have some like spare seats, you know, because passenger comfort and everything. But you really don't need, uh, like at least early game, you really don't need that many spare vehicles. So I think that should probably solve our issue monetarily for the time being. How is West Shuttle? Because I think West Shuttle, I could probably do with selling a couple of them, to be honest with you. There's, uh, there is quite a few on West Shuttle and they're not all full. If we just go to very bad here, we can just sell the ones that are very bad, I think. If we go, we've got 10 vehicles, let's sell, say, mm, let's sell three, I think. That's probably a good number. Uh, what else have we got to do? So I'm looking on here, there's a lot of just shuttles and intercity coaches. There is a lot of them empty as well, especially the shuttles, because I think a lot of the stations have been closed, to be honest with you, and they, these guys are still operating. Yeah, as you can see, Lauby's not even being used, although I think we are going to use it later in the episode, so I won't destroy the line. However, I would like to sell some vehicles. I'm going to simply just leave it on one vehicle, I think. We don't need more than that. It's only just shuttling people from residential to, in fact, not even not even industrial, just the other side of residential, I think. Um, so, yeah, we can leave that for now. Although I am planning on using this later in the episode, so uh, stay tuned for that. What else have we got to do? We've really solved a lot of the issues here. You can see there's hardly any routes now that are losing money and there's a lot of making good money. Uh, I think it's most of it is just taxes, to be honest with you. Uh, what have we got here? Fantacross bus. What are you doing? You have uh, one person on board. Wow, the demand is crazy for this thing. Let's sell that. There's no one on board that one, so we can, we can leave the one with someone on board. For the Felicity Shuttle, absolutely no one on board. We can sell one of those as well. And the, what else have we got on here? We've got the Sun West bus. Only three people on the whole route. We don't need that. So we'll sell a couple of these guys. Uh, but what I will do on this one though. Uh, I've lost it though. Sun, Sun West bus. No, it's moved. Where's it gone? Stop jumping around. Sun West bus. There we go. You. I'm going to replace you with an omnibus. Not a, not a big one. Just a, just a one that's a little bit bigger. Because stagecoach holds four. And the omnibus holds six. So it's slightly bigger capacity and I think I should solve the issue because we don't really need two vehicles but we might need one and a half times of what we currently have so I think that's pretty good. Uh, and what else have we got left to do? There's really not a lot left on here. Some shuttle. Uh, there's five people on board. That one's full and that one's ish full. So we'll sell that one and we don't really... Mm, you know what? You know, I'm going to go with the omnibus for this one as well. Yeah. Uh, should we go with the double decker? What is, what's our options here? We've got four, four, three. Okay. So we don't, that's the best one for four. So either six or 12. Uh, hmm, okay, so I think we'll go with this one, the six. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. That's probably a good call. And then what have we got left to do? We've got a couple of things going on. So what is the cheapest one to operate? I wonder, let's see. Can we replace this with a cheaper alternative? We've got, this one costs 3.9 a year. 3.9, 2.9, okay. We could do those ones. That is not a bad idea. 2.9 that is poor that is good one less person on board but that line's not very popular anyway so i'm gonna replace that yeah good call i think cool uh which other ones are pretty much empty you're pretty much empty so i can replace you with the same one okay boom we're making good progress uh you you're pretty much empty um but actually if we just jump to this guy is that bus stop is that is that where are we this bus stop has one person waiting so that's probably about the right capacity anyway so i'll leave that one that one's just fine uh but we do have i wish this wouldn't like update all the time i'm trying to look at the finances and then see which ones need sorting out but it's kind of annoying and flicking around fan shuttle you've got no one on you so i'm going to get rid of that and then fan shuttle i'm going to replace this guy with a an standard omnibus uh, just a little bit bigger a bit more capacity uh, let's have a look at, so this one here, Felicity Shuttle, there's absolutely no one on board. We can replace this with the Troika. Uh, we'll, well, let's, I've never actually used the Troika, let's let's have a look at this one. Okay, so it's a pretty nice looking vehicle. Three horses, that surprises me. Three horses. I've not seen that so far. So I think that's looking pretty good for our finances. There are a little bit like of issues here and there. I think all of this, to be honest with you, is just the vehicles being in transit. I really don't know what the problem could be. You see this one here, it's got six passengers, but it's still making a loss. 
Uh, let's just have a look actually. You're going to River Street. Where is River Street? Good question. Uh, your River Street. So there you go. It's made $7. Lucky me. That's exactly what we need to keep the Empire going. I don't know. We'll come back to this in a bit. But I think it's just nice to have uh, to have tried to fix the issue. And I don't think there should be a traffic jam over in Westhampton anymore. Look at that. There's a lot of passengers. Don't get me wrong. A lot of passengers. There's no traffic jam there. So that is, is definitely good stuff. Let's have, let's have a check on that actually. West Shuttle 1. You know what? It might be cheaper. I think it's a good move actually. Manage vehicles. I'm going to sell all of these but we have seven so i'm going to sell all but three okay that's fine sell those i'm going to replace these guys with the double deckers yes now we have 12 24 36 capacity we had seven that hold four before so we had 7 14 28 we actually have more capacity with less vehicles and i also did spot somewhere on here there is a a lot of a lot of stagecoaches on this line and they're all full interestingly Let's go to this line here. It's Som Bro. So where are you going? You're going from Somerville to I see Browns. Now that's a line I didn't expect to be doing well, but it is a line we can do a really good thing with, which is uh, sell a couple of these, let's say, and replace these guys with uh, the double deckers. Uh, we'll check up on this later because I think it's interesting. Is this line? going to be really popular because it wasn't too popular a couple of episodes ago it was just kind of normal so interesting maybe it's because there's like i'm not sure i'm not sure anyway bit of a detour there back to the earlier point in the episode we need to hook up our track here should be pretty simple to do just bring that round and plug that right in there there we go very simple stuff we just need to do a circle now so i found a really quite awkward bodge which is just simply tell the farmer to put all the cows in one field <laughs> Um, so yeah, this field doesn't exist anymore. We just built a massive track over it. Why not? Okay, so I think this is looking pretty nice It's a nice storage place to store all our stuff and when the train comes in it will block the road for a little bit Which is okay I suppose because it won't be in here long So I think now it's time just to simply set a lineup. Let's do it We go over here to our depot where we've got the general stored and let's sort this out. So edit consist and we need to go and get some tool carriers what carries tool here is it the box cars it is the box cars which ones do we want okay if we have a top speed of 45 kilometers an hour we want something similar so we'll get around there 46 44 uh but you're slightly more so we'll go with those so we've got good power good power good power mediocre power great that's always a good start let's go to like the low power so what's that going to be uh low power is actually quite a lot uh so top speed flat 45 medium high 15 okay let's try and bump that up a little bit to uh maybe a bit higher so top speed of so got 15 still uh 18 no nah, we'll go with 15 15 i think it's better all right uh so we got 15 yeah can we go with a little bit more Try and push it to its limit. 13, bump one off. 14, one more. And there we go. We'll buy that. And we'll set that going on weapons drop. Now, I'm wondering, just a little issue here. Uh, is the train on the main line past this point? Because it's not, we're going to have to stop the train. Okay, the general is off. Looking mighty fine. There it goes as it speeds through the station. Look at that, straight through West Hampton. That is looking brilliant awesome stuff okay and now that's ready we can let the game play out and let the general do its thing but there's one last thing we need to do in this video which is of course passengers from the other station which i believe is lauby uh so where are we here lauby 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 hello lauby uh yeah so i'd kind of like to get something going this way because we do need a few more recruits i think there's not that many actually in the army uh i think this is a simple case of uh of get some track um, bring it off there and put it on that like that. I wonder can it fit on this track? I'm not sure. We do need some money. Okay, I'm gonna wait until we get some more money and then we can sort this out. I reckon a train can fit on here as long as we don't make it too long. And we'll put a signal there and a the train cannot fit on there, however, so uh, that's an issue. We do need to make the train wait, but that'll wait over there if that's all right. We need a signal there as well. And then our train should be able to stop there. This is our passenger service we're gonna run. Uh, how are we going to do uh, a passenger service that we don't actually have that many vehicles available? 
if any actually. So I just sent the general back to the depot and I've actually had it painted like a black colour. I think what we should do is we should attack um, and try and because it's such a like densely populated forest having a black um, consist might make it a bit more stealthy I think. So I've had it painted black and, uh, and that might be a little bit better. You can still see the traces of where the green are where they've missed a bit but yeah I think that should be better. Okay. Another thing I've just noticed, how about this as an idea? Why don't we use our worst locomotive we have as the passenger line? We don't need a good locomotive for the motor base, we need like a really low tier one. Why don't we put the uh, like the six wheeler maybe on this route, um, or the class V, and then the, the D13 can be the passenger train, I think that would work. So we're going to figure something out about that. We just need this, he's gone, okay, good, good, good. We just need this guy to uh, to go ahead and, and get going because he's, he's causing a bit of a loss for us at the minute. As you can see, quite a bit of a loss. He's just sitting around waiting, so get him out of the way. That's good. Here comes the general speeding over the bridge towards his destination. Very nice. Another thing we actually missed is we need to put in a uh, pickup here. There's no way that these can pick up, so we need to put a truck station in. Uh, just spin that around a bit and we'll pop that in nice and snug with the road I think so just about like that there we go and then now we need a checkpoint uh, do you know what we can probably save a bit of money here if they go back on themselves that's that's cheaper so we get rid of this road here and we'd have to maintain this bridge see money saving tips very handy there we go we can do that now and they can just go back on themselves I see we have a little problem here uh, it shouldn't be too hard to fix, I don't think. We just have to add an extra track in, I think. Which is a little annoying, sure. Um, okay, alright, not, not a big issue. So, tracks, 50. Uh, pop that in there like that, there we go. And then now we can just connect another 50 to... Uh, and how are we going to do this one? Bring that across there like that. Okay, and then bring that into... Uh, too much curvature into that one there. That's better. And then we just back this guy up. Back up, mate. Beep beep. There we go. Back that up there. And then you pause game. And then you, if I put that on signals, one goes down just like uh, like there. Where do I put this? One goes down there like that. All right. And then that's going to block that. That's fine. There we go, and if we do that then, and plug that into there, then we can get rid of, I don't know, yeah, we get rid of that signal there, and just push that back a little bit to like there instead. I think that's much better. Um, and then now what should happen, the train should go, uh, it's going a little bit the wrong way, that's fine, I can just fix that pretty easily with a waypoint. So get one of these guys, plug that there, and then we need to go to the weapons drop. There you go, problem solved. There we are, that's better. No, and then that should that should have no issues now. All right, here we go. They're picking up the tools. I also replaced this with a cheaper alternative, and I got rid of this side because we weren't using it. So yeah, we're actually shipping stuff now. Woohoo! There's actually quite a few weapons laying around on the platform. I'm actually going to add one more vehicle to this line. Not enough money, great. <laughs> okay, now we have enough money. Let's get another one. Now I've got nine vehicles on that route. I hope that'll be enough. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get one more. Right then, the last thing in this video to do is to sort out the passengers. Uh, we have some recruits, don't we, in Lauby? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I am going to take the Class V, which is the least powerful locomotive on this line at least, uh, and then I'm going to put that onto the wood line, and then the D13 on the wood line, I'm going to put on the new passenger line. Another thing I actually missed out here, the, the, the weapons train is still using just the one track here. So if I actually get a track and just bring that down, and then we try and get this track to go onto this track we just can't connect them up here uh, that will solve our issues I think okay so I've took the class V off the route and I've put it in the D13 slot so that's why we have the class V's old train cars here and we have the D13 so what we also have is these two train cars and one security car from uh, a few episodes ago where we took the train off the route the bandits have taken over and they've just been left over. So what we need to do is we need to combine these. So to do this, I'm going to go to edit here and I'm going to add. Now, let's think about this. Um, I actually, I might add these Bavarian ones. These look good. Uh, I might do that to most of you. How, what about these ones? So I've got a top speed of what on this train? Let's find out. About, okay, I think it's 50. 
is the one we're using. Yeah, 50 is what we're using. So you go 56, 45. So how oh, do oh, so you go? 66. I don't need that much speed, I don't think. We'll go with these. That's fine. So we've got two of these and a spare. Okay, that's fine. So which one do we want? We want the one that goes about 50 but holds quite a few people. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one, I guess. We don't really need more than one car, I don't think. This guy can now go on to... We need a new line for this, don't we? Okay, that's fine. So, we need to go back over here. And we need to make a new line. So, a new line from the Lauby train station. And uh, that station there. We'll get a green colour on here. And we're going to call this the Pass uh, to Millie 2. Awesome. And now the new train can go on to pass to Millie 2. Here comes the D13. Off on its way to pass Military 2, the new line we just set up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, the playlist is on screen right now if you want to watch the whole series. And if you like the series as a whole, why not press subscribe? I'll see you next time, where we might actually take out these bandits and get rid of them once and for all.